Instagram Reels are here to stay. So whether you're filming a travel reel for a tourism board or destination, or featuring a product, brand, or food establishment in your content. This right here is how you film Instagram Reels for brands. Being a travel creator myself, my favorite type of reel to film is a travel reel. From doing a more simple shot, where you'll get the person to film you and follow you as you walk towards whatever beautiful destination you're at, or you can get them to stand still as you walk away. This is also a great way to film it by yourself because you can easily use a tripod for this. Another way to do it is to compile a bunch of different clips from your trip and then add text on top whether it be a quote or travel tips. The next reel we're going to talk about is a product based reel. So we're going to be making a reel today for my clothing line which is actually the shirt I'm wearing right here. It is fully reversible along with these jewels. So these are both from Live More the label. I do have a clothing line if you guys didn't know that I will leave it linked below but basically what we're going to be doing is making an aesthetic Instagram reel which is really popular right now. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my phone. What's nice is you can either film this with a friend or you can film it by yourself. I've I've definitely perfected the technique of filming by yourself. You can easily get a tripod off Amazon. I will leave one linked below, the one I use, or pretty simple, you can just set your phone up, put it on camera mode, start recording. When you are filming by yourself, you don't need to worry about just getting that one short clip. What I usually do is just press go, and then I will move around, and yes, this might feel a little uncomfortable filming by yourself, but the more you do it, the more comfortable you get. What I definitely suggest also is to go in your camera settings on your phone and put recording at 60 frames per second. That way you can actually slow it down 50% in the editing and you get a really beautiful clips like this. Basically, I'll just do that a bunch of times over. I get a whole bunch of clips. You can also just film a clip like this, especially if it's something that you want to show off close up. I'll just zoom it in a little bit and I'll do just really tiny movements. So maybe it's you just putting your hair behind your ear. You can have one where you're just like leaning back like this. And since you're gonna be chopping this up in the editing, you don't have to worry too much about getting the perfect clip. You just wanna focus on getting as many clips as possible and you'll get amazing results that way. So a little trick that I always do to make sure that the exposure doesn't go too high and wreck the clips is I'll tap on the screen and if you tap it and hold it, it actually does this auto exposure lock so it's not going to wreck your shot so then I'll just press record like this and then I'll go to another location here and the camera is crooked. <laughs> the next part of this reel is to get aesthetic videos of your surroundings. So we are in a beautiful Vancouver, Canada today, right by the water. There's so many nice spots here to take video. So a little hack, what I'll actually do is I'll put my video into two times and basically that allows for that really aesthetic look. I would definitely recommend filming these videos during sunset because the lighting is just beautiful. But seeing as it's the middle of the day, we're going to get some shots this way. So basically all I'll do is I'll just get quick little clips not moving much. Um, here I have the water moving. Gonna get a little shot of the aqua bus with BC Place behind it. The mountains over here. Gonna get a shot of the clouds, which always looks nice. So once you have all the clips, the next and most important part is obviously to string the whole video together. So I do like to edit on my phone just because all the clips are on your phone. But the first step I'll do is I'll open up an editing app. So I do use one called Vlow, V-L-L-O. There's also InShot, which I've heard is good, and a few others. I'll leave some recommendations down below. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna pull all the clips into the app, cut them up how you like. I like to usually the long clips, for example, is I'll take a bunch of different parts of that clip and I'll make it around one second so that when I actually put the song down, it all really goes nicely to the music, just like how if you were to edit a video on your laptop. The next most important thing is the music. Now, this is definitely key in making a great video. And as you guys may know, I do use Epidemic for all of my music on YouTube. They have a fantastic library. You can also use their music for your Instagram reels. And the reason you especially want to do this for your client work, so if you're making a reel for a brand and maybe they're using that reel to advertise, they're actually not gonna be able to use that reel if you don't use the song that you have the license to. What I really love about Epidemic is their commercial plan actually allows you to license your music for all of your client work. So for me, that's been such a lifesaver to know that I can give the video to the client, it's not gonna be any issues for them and they can use that video how they wish. So what I'll normally do is I'll go to Epidemic, I'll search through the library, download a bunch of songs and actually send those to my phone. And then from there, I will cut the clips to match perfectly with the song and you have a finished product like this. Okay, so next up, we are gonna head to a coffee shop and I'm gonna show you guys how to make one of these reels for an in-person business. Now, I actually grew my following on TikTok by making these types of videos for brands. And since then, I've actually had a bunch of restaurants reach out, asking me to come and film TikToks for their certain locations. So it's basically like this last TikTok we just filmed, except you're getting clips inside, walking in, ordering. You might wanna grab a shot of the menu, the prices, and then obviously the food and the drinks that you get as well. And showing it off in a really nice way, but also providing a 
lot of information. Okay. Made it to the restaurant. I ended up ordering an Aperol spritz. I like to just set it up in kind of a nice way, just on the corner. I'm just gonna do a few different shots with my phone. So the first shot I'm gonna get is kind of a close up one, just of the cookies, maybe me grabbing it with my hand. And then I also just like to get a shot of the drink since it's nice and bright. And then lastly, I'll just set the camera up on something. Once again, make sure the background's not overexposed or the lens is dirty, that's also key. Always clean your lens, folks, before you shoot video. That's my number one tip. Video shot where I'm leaned over. Kind of feels like I'm in Italy, but we're not. We're in Vancouver. And then once again, you're gonna string that video together. Since this video, I am gonna be doing voiceover, explaining a bit more about the restaurant. What I'm gonna do is I am gonna put a song on this video, but I'm gonna turn the volume down to around 10 to 20, so it's just softly in the background. And that way you can hear your voice, you can hear a bit of the song, and it makes a beautiful reel like For a taste of Italy in Vancouver, you have to come and check out Gusto. Located in Olympic Village, they have amazing pizza and all the gelato you can dream of. Of course, you can't forget to order an Aperol spritz, and you'll feel like you're on an Italian vacation in no time. What I love about Instagram reels is that you can repurpose your content for other platforms like TikTok and Facebook, which really maximizes your time. Video is the way of the future, and we know this because we've seen such an increase of video content across all the platforms, along with the CEO of Instagram coming out and saying that IG is now a video sharing app. So knowing this, it's really important that you learn how to integrate video into your content, even if you've never done it before. I'm a firm believer that practice makes perfect, and trust me, it does get easier with time. So make sure you save this video and come back and watch it next time you're making an Instagram reel. You'll be making money from brands before you know it. So make sure you download your free 30-day epidemic trial to get the best music for all your paid work. And with that, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!